Everyone, Heather, Kaluna, it has been ages. <laughs> yeah, well, I got to see you at a wedding. Yeah, it's fun. Months ago, um, Tara uh, unfortunately is out again. Almost done with it. Mm-hmm. This is uh, she's a uh, another round of chemo last week, and it's knocking her down, so she's out. But Heather has been kind enough to uh, step in. Um, she has Thank got you for having me. <laughs> She's got Kaluna reviews. It's on YouTube. We'll have links to it. And of course, she's doing her other like day job stuff, which is like audiobooks and editing and important. Sh- Nine. And... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and taking care of two menace cats. I can't promise they'll make themselves appear on screen, but but you'll hear them. That's for sure. <laughs> Most like his ink is is brushing his face against my ring light, so you just hear a thwack every once in a while. <laughs> That's just him. So yeah, uh, but yeah, no, I uh, it's it's great to see you again. Now it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, we we've never had you on here to do this before, so I'm sorry. Well, Not uh, that I well, I was I was here once before in a group yeah. setting. Yeah, but uh, yeah, not by myself. Yeah, it's uh, well, you yeah, it, it's a week. It's definitely oh no a week. Oh no, no poop stories. That that's uh, that's oh. all on Luke. So you know yes. <laughs> oh, man. We had a bet going to see if I was going to be uh, graced with a poop story. Nope. I'm very glad I'm you're, not. You're, you're you're in the clear. You're all good. Mm. Oh, okay. That doesn't necessarily mean you're not. <laughs> hey man, like, give me give me your worst. I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Get the intro rolling. Dude, the weird things I have to read in audiobooks all the time, whether I'm reading it out loud or, loud or listening to it, like, I've been through the ringer, man. <laughs> Each week, Catherine on the radio today, all right, is going to on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And our first one comes from your neck of the woods. So we're on your coast. Oh, okay. All right. The, this is, uh... This is a first. Okay. Um, I don't normally associate this show with a Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh. But. Oh, no. Okay. A full body orgasm at the Los Angeles Philharmonics. Witnesses offer conflicting accounts. You know, uh, it's L.A. Come on. Like, Molly Grant was enjoying... had a full-body orgasm somewhere? Come on. <laughs> Molly Grant was enjoying the La- Los Angeles Philharmonic performance of Tchaik- Tchaik- Tchaikovsky's It's Symphony on Friday at the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's the Walt Disney. Oh, the... When yes. she heard what was described as a, quote, scream slash moan erupt from the balcony that kind of performance you guys everyone no. kind of turned to see what was happening grant who was sitting near the person who allegedly made the noise um i saw the girl after it happened i assume she had an orgasm because she was breathing heavy and her partner was smiling and looking at her <laughs> the next quote it was quite beautiful what i mean was she doing it like in time with the music was she like keeping a rhythm like I can't imagine an alleged particularly like sexy, but an alleged uh, audio of the uh, alleged audio recording in the moment uh, where someone could be heard crying out during a quiet beat in the music. Making the rounds of social media, attendees who spoke to the time said the clip was similar to what they'd heard. Um, or people attended said like, the this is just uh, like, sure, <laughs> man. Like you go, you get dressed up. You think it's going to be a really nice evening going seeing some classical music or whatever. I don't know. I'm not smart or rich enough to go see like a orchestra, but you go and you're like, ah, oh, yes. This is the fine things in life. And then you just hear someone just fully getting like fingered away from them. You're like, oh, hi, hi, hi. not what I was expecting tonight. Ah, ah, ah. 
voyeurism at its finest. See, I would have expected it to happen toward like the 1812 overture or something like that. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, oh, I, I wish Luke was here. So <laughs> I would love his take on this. Will, Will and Tell or Orchestra, the 1812, but you know, yeah, both of those, those are perfect. But I, I, I am not a music person, unfortunately, which is funny because I have so many friends who are that they'll just like I can't have a full conversation with with Garrett at any point involving music because I just won't know half of what he's referring to. Oh my god! People intended said the musicians played through the disturbance without stopping. Well, what the fuck else are you gonna do? I mean. Clean up in aisle four. Like, what are you going to do? Like, this I, this is kind of <laughs> like their Titanic. You know, they're playing. Gentlemen, it's been an honor. Oh, oh, it's been an honor. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was just. <laughs> She's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, bringing a bit of class yeah. into this, I suppose, but. Uh, yeah, no, no, guys, be respectful of other people. Like, if that gets your jollies, that's fine. Well, it was like other people are there too. They don't want to deal with that. Speaking of not wanting to deal with that, we've been from the high class and said to the low class. Um, let me double check. With were we still in LA? No, this is Florida. So we're, we're off. All right. Florida. Well, there you go. At long list. I'm not surprised there's a Florida story. Man gives police worst explanation ever for why he has to pleasure himself in public. Or if a man is charged with indecent exposure, uh, offered cops a bizarre explanation as to why he was pleasuring himself in public. Officers were dispatched Sunday morning to a Speedway convenience store in Barrow Beach after a 911 caller advised there was a naked white male screaming at the white female on the side of the road upon arriving at the scene. Officers encountered Jason Roach, with whom they were already familiar. That's not good. Oh, oh my God. Are we surprised? Come on. This does not look like a man who, this is his first offense. Come on. He's just like, well, here I am. Oh, um, no. Oh, yes. oh, look at where he's been before. It's like yeah. like the perfect Florida man. Like, uh, what is it? It's uh, Alleged masturbation incidents at an Arby's and a Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're done. Jason. We got it. We Jason, got you've been spanking off at the Arby's again? Well, they have the lease. <laughs> yeah, you know. I and, do find it very funny that uh, you did, like, two in a row for the ace person here. It's like, great, thanks. <laughs> In both instances, Roach stopped and went on his way. The third time, however, was not the charm. A witness told police that Roach uh, was naked and touching himself in the most motion of masturbation. When questioned about his activities, Roach reportedly said that, quote, was having issues with his rectum, and in order to get rid of the pain, he had to ejaculate. Okay, now... I don't think that's how that works. Like, I can't be for sure telling you that, but, like, pretty sure that's not uh, what a doctor would prescribe for, you know, butt pain or whatever. Like, I, I'm, I'm getting older and my shit's falling apart. My neck is just fucking killing me. And I, I, I wouldn't think to myself, you know, I should start kicking myself in the nuts. That'll fix this. I mean, like... I almost could see the logic because, like, the whole, like, you know, if you have a headache, supposedly, like, an orgasm will help or something. But, like, that's a little extreme. That's the wrong end. Would... Wrong yeah, fucking I mean, end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the body works in mysterious ways, Nash. Uh, he is the Florida man, after all. rpg says, dude, fuck the pain away. It's just a song. Oh, I can't actually see the chat. Where? Uh, oh, I got two chats. I got one, one on, on the. Uh, you're in my. You're on my server. I invited you. I am on the server. I tried to find the chat and I didn't see Straight it. Straight chat down under tech channels. There it is. Uh, I know it's I Discord. Only see welcome here. and announcements. What was I supposed to do? Something. 
Like I, I clicked it and I even like refreshed it and did the update. It didn't show me anything. Have, what the what? What the? Know. Hold on, let's. I am I am I am not a tech person, Nash. I'm very sorry. Uh... Discord and I are not friends. <laughs> okay, I'm looking in the channel. Are you? Dang it. There you are. All right. The, it, uh, hey, you're, why, uh, what the fuck? All right. Uh, apologies, everyone. All right. Well, there you go. That should give me. Okay. There you go. I don't know why it wasn't showing up. Sorry. Thank you. There you go. Discord's got like, thank you. Crappiest info, uh, it, UI anyway. So, uh, yes, I can see it now. Thank you. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I did click the thumbs up, it just hates me. Roach, who has been uh, scheduled for May 2nd arrangement, arraignment, has previously been convicted for battery, petty theft, violating a protective order, burglary, grand theft, firing, fa uh, filing false documents, and resisting police. One of these things is not like the others. I mean. <sighs> Maybe he's just trying to, like, change it up a little, you know? Just throwing some tax fraud in there or some shit? What? He's trying to bring some spice. Lord knows he needs it. He's very white. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. This is from Georgia. And... Oh, man. This is another one of our... Just the fantastic uh, the mugshot to start with. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. Ringgold, Georgia man. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Lord. Ringgold, Georgia man blocks school bus after a student allegedly flipped off his wife. That, there's, that is wow. Sir. Wow. Sir. It, it's like, like he tried to blink during the phone, <laughs> but missed. <laughs> like, that's impressive, honestly. Uh. A Catoosa County man is facing several charges after he allegedly blocked a school bus with his truck, causing an argument with several parents who raced to the scene. Roger O'Neill Barrett, 55, otherwise known as old enough to know better, earned himself in at the Catoosa County Jail on Tuesday. Um, Barrett told Catoosa County Sheriff's Office deputies the incident started when a student on the bus made an obscene gesture to him Monday afternoon. And he wanted the child's contact information. Well, sure, sure, that's what we're calling it these days. Contact information. Barrett, <laughs> Barrett had originally called the sheriff's office for help transferring cattle across the road. Social media uh, message, Scarlett Rutherford and her daughter, was one of the 20 students on the block school bus. When her daughter called and told her what was happening, Rutherford said she drove straight to the scene. Um, standoff lasted about 30 minutes. Uh, so minutes. Yeah, some of Barrett's argument. Uh, oh, yeah. the problem. This cattle is the father. The parent. Like, I grew up in a cow town. Like, I've had my bus be stopped so some cows can, like, walk by. It's not fun. It didn't last 30 minutes. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's... In the video, Barrett said he would not move his truck until he got the name of an ad name and address of the child who flipped off his wife. Sir, I'm not, I'm not gonna overreact or nothing. Sir, you don't get you, you don't they, they no. not they're not your kids. Look, I'll parent some other people's kids as much as I like. I I have rights. There is one rule that most of us in our society take like ironclad not fuck with someone else's kid like and i mean he's on a freaking bus like if he was on like a bike and he went by it's like all right sure but like there are other people involved in this you've just made this a mess for everyone you have fucked up everybody's day and i it just in 30 minutes and the, the, the kids on the bus were calling their parents the parents were coming out there they were having a screaming match the fucker still has his truck in the middle of the road there's a school but like he, you yes, he, yes i love it you don't hold a bus of kids hostage because you're 
feelings got hurt by a minor. <laughs> I... Oh my god. Are you, are you more mature than an 11th grader or however old like, those Oregon kids if are? You're pulling over a bus full of middle schoolers. If I you're mean, black, I you've already lost. For years, middle schoolers are, in fact, the worst. Yeah. I wanted to slap several of them. I had been beamed in the head by many things while working in a school. You know what I didn't do? Touch any of the ki of the kids or grab them. I reported them like you're supposed to. And it's, don't pull like this this shit on the fucking roadway. You're not goddamn Night Rider. The fuck do you think you're doing? How sh how boring of a life must you lead? That that is the most you've been inconvenienced. I can get I just imagine what does he think he's going to happen? It's like, okay, well, you're right. Tommy, your time has come. Give the nice man your address. Let the weird guy with the pickup truck and the cowboy hat know where you live. Which of you little shits flipped off my wife? And then all the kids proceed to flip him off. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't fuck with kids. <laughs> they, they, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they know what they're inheriting. They don't want it. <laughs> the dirty secret about a butt. The thing that, that you don't get the impression of. And even as you're a kid, you don't really always realize it. There are more of them than there are of the adults. You're fucking outnumbered. And they know it. They just... I mean... I know the pettiness of somebody can go, like, real far. Like, my dad has followed behind somebody who's cut him off in traffic for far longer than I've been comfortable with, I know, because I've been in the car. Uh, but he never, like, actually got out. He just sort of, like, stared at them for a little bit and then left. He didn't block traffic. No. He just was kind of vaguely threatening, I guess. But, like, I mean, my dad was pretty, like, bulky, so, like, he could, he could beat a dude, but, like... If you're having an argument with an 11 year old, you've already fucking lost. That is fair. You will never win an argument with a middle schooler. Like, you just give up. Like, yeah, it wait, is, do not fight them. Which one of you flip my wife off the entire bus is just waving the fucking thing? They don't fucking care. Like, my generation. Oh, I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I think. I think my generation was the last one that was actually afraid of permanent record. This is going to go on your you permanent know, record. That was a thing that, like, I would remember, like, seeing uh, on TV and, like, thinking that exists. Like, I remember there was, like, a Hey Arnold episode that really focused on that. Like, and I remember thinking, like, oh, man, when I get into old, when I'm old enough, like, that's going to be real scary. Yeah, the, the, no. the, that's that's a bad. You can't hold that. They don't give a shit anymore. They're they're practically feral most of the time. Do you blame? Yeah. Them? I what what were you like in school, Nash? Were you a, were you a well behaved young man? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh I yeah I was I was I was pretty well behaved. Like I the only time I got detention was. I accidentally, my alarm uh, got plugged out because there was like a power outage the night before. So we got like reset and I was a senior. So it was at the time when you would need to drive yourself to school. And I was late by like a half an hour and I like, and they're like, well, we have to give you detention. I'm like, okay. My mom was even like, I can call it in. I can like excuse them and say that like you had like a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment or something. I'm like, well, one, they're not going to believe I had a doctor's appointment at like 730 in the morning. And two, I am very bad at lying. <laughs> I, I don't think I could live with the guilt. <laughs> oh. oh, I've come so far. Professional actor. Oh, but wait, <laughs> that's not all. Oh, no. Twice in one week. Oh, my God. Man followed school buses harass kids in Burlington County. Medford, New Jersey. Hey. A Burlington County man received multiple charges this week after following school buses and harassing children. Kevin Dobb, 44, of Medford, yelled at children and made con comments that caused them to, quote, become alarmed and concerned for their safety. 
Uh, police went to Head Headwater Drive just before 3 p.m. Uh, after a person later identified as Dob reportedly uh, followed a bus and yelled at children. <laughs> All your investigations. The new old man yells at Cloud, but now it's old man yells at bus. But like, is this just a thing now? If they make me, if they make me stop hollering at the kids on the bus, I will face God and walk backwards into hell. Give me liberty, or give me a bunch of fucking middle schoolers yelling at my wife. Um, Dobb reportedly followed a bus and yelled at, ch at children. During the investigation, Dobb was charged with child endangerment, two contacts, uh, co counts of disorderly conduct, and five counts of harassment. Sir. Sir. Every time this happens, I don't understand what they think the next step is. I, I never more at this moment wished that Miss Frizzle was real <laughs> because she would beat the shit out of any of these assholes who like came to like mess with her kids. I don't. I, okay. Step one, yell at the children. Step two, get arrested for yelling at the children. Then fucking what? What, what's, what's happening? What, what is, what are you getting out of this aside from a night in jail? I, I feel like there's just a certain type of person who they have an intrusive thought and normally it, it, it passes, but for them, it's just permanent. And they're like, well, gotta do it. See, what am I going to do? I thought it, I gotta do it. Maybe the Especially if they're white. Don't fucking yell at the kids. What the fuck? I, <laughs> everyone's posting the Simpsons. It's like, am I out of touch? <laughs> no, it's the children. <laughs> oh, man. Never has it been more accurate. <laughs> we're, uh, next, uh, we're going to Maine. New subject, new stuff. Um, i been there once. Has the mail ever lost anything you've been trying to, to, to get sent to you? Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot. Yep. I, Recently... I, like, I, uh, I've had some tracking, and the tracking just stops for days, and you're like, well, that's gone. I, the, for, I, it's only within the last couple of weeks, but for two months, some drunk dickhead tried to pull all of our uh, mailboxes off the wall in our apartment complex. So for two months, I had to wait until they installed a new one, so I would have to go to the post office, like, on my lunch break, wait in line for an hour, because that was the only time I could get there. It was such a pain in the ass, and they constantly were losing all my mail. It was the worst. Well, I doubt you had someone was trying to send you this particular package. Oh, no. Man arrested oh, why? after oh. three million worth of drugs shipped to restaurant. And that that is another m mug shot. Just, that's a beauty. Good. They... They, the, they, there's like 10 of them, and we just cycle through the same 10 over and over. The again. gormless look on that guy's face. Employee, it looks like he just smelled a fart. <laughs> employees of a main restaurant got a surprise when they opened a large wooden crate. It was thought to hold a shipment of mugs they had recently ordered. Instead... Oh, Jerry! <laughs> we missed hell that they put drugs! They found... It's supposed to be mugs! They found a plastic joint. <laughs> That contain what law enforcement suspected is 31 pounds of fentanyl with an estimated street value of $3 million. The tope had a shipping label with the restaurant's address, but the name of someone who did not work there. Police opened it and saw it when they thought it looked like drugs, called the police. The crate uh, from Arizona then arrived in Maine Town, about 30 miles north of Portland was saying the police department where they confirmed it was fentanyl. Here's the best part. An hour later, the man whose name was on the shipment showed up looking for the crate and was arrested. Oh my God. So apparently the plan Wait. was... When you had a moment, there was a moment you could have left. They they ship could have not. They ship the drugs to the restaurant, and he just say walk in and pick them up like nothing happened. 
It's not like anyone was going to open it up. That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I can't imagine, like, 31 pounds of fentanyl. Like, that is an absolutely ridiculous amount. Like, how did you think you were going to get away with that? Like, you don't even need to, to take that shit to kill someone with it. You could just beat them over the fucking head with 31 did pounds. He at least, did he at least use, like, a fake name? No, he, he the, the did name he that was... real name? Yeah. The name that was on Dude. the... Jeremy uh, Mercier, 41, of Auburn, was charged with drug offenses. Mercier previously spent time behind bars on a 2007 federal drug conviction. <clears throat> Jeremy, has it ever occurred to you that you might be bad at crime? Oh, yeah. Ink agrees. <laughs> Sorry. Jeremy? I, I, I can't, like... I know there's not a lot of fun things in Maine as someone who has been there exactly once. That's not... A fun activity. No. I can imagine. Like, nor is it good. Like, even if you add 31 pounds of fentanyl, like, <laughs> what are you going to do with that much? Split. Like, I mean, yeah, but like, how do you think you're not going to get caught? Like, small amounts, a pseudonym. These are the basic crime 101s. He didn't even go to crime community college. He flunked. Like, the idea that they wouldn't just pop the thing, oh, it's got my name on it. They won't open it. See, that that's that's not how the mail works. Don't. No. Dumb shit. It's set to its address. It means they can open it. Well, that's it. Done. <laughs> our last one this week is some, I guess you'd call this classic shenanigans. Just, but. Oh, boy. Are we going to get a threefer? Come on, show me another white guy yelling at a, at a bunch of kids. Yeah. No. Naked man rescued from Lewiston Canal after fleeing from police Friday. The 39-year-old 39 39-year-old man jumped in the canal while fleeing from police. Nearly two dozen rescue workers responded to Canal Street on Friday morning to pull a 39-year-old man from Philadelphia out of the canal. Unable to climb a ladder to the bridge on the end of Pine Street, the man was lifted up the walkway using a rescue sled. Um, the man was naked except for a life vest provided by rescue personnel. Uh, Lewis and police came, began receiving calls about a naked man running around downtown. Man ran through seven Kennedy Park, uh, ran through Kennedy Park and entered several businesses, even running past the police station. Take him downtown, running past the police, so now they'll get me. Da, 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 da. He ran from the police <laughs> when they approached and jumped in the canal while fleeing. That's the one they always think my course of escape is the sea. Ah, they'll never follow me into this. I mean, admittedly, I wouldn't, but I'm not a, you know, I'm not the one who has to chase after him, so... You know, you, there was a br you know what you do if you're trying to chase someone who jumps in the water and there's a bridge? You cross the bridge! Yeah, no. You're gonna be faster not than- follow the leader, you dummy. They're not gonna hop in after you. They're just gonna sit over on the side of the- wait for your ass to get tired. It's fine. The river continues- the canal continues forever, sir. Sir. Eventually, it will end. There's, I just promise. A, there's a guy rolling by in the back of a pickup truck. It's waiting on his ass to just start drowning. <laughs> Don't worry. It's like the Emperor's new clothes. They'll never see me. Oh, no, wait. I totally misread this. Thirty drug. They say drugs. Drug use was a factor. Kid, don't say. Oh, wow. This is my surprised face. Oh, uh, God. This, it sounds like somebody just, like, put a wrong skin on a video game and just were like, have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> you're in the middle of your shop in downtown. You're trying to get through your day. You're in the middle of the Starbucks. Suddenly, in runs a naked dude. Hello! And runs right the fuck back out. That's I mean, the rest if you're of in your Florida, day. that's probably just, like, part of your normal day-to-day. -day, okay, true. But... True. That, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's true. 
People, people, I, people don't expect it, though. I mean, it's a, your your daily life, you're not going by thinking, you know what? We're overdue for a penis about now. Um, oh, no, it's flapping in the wind. Ugh. No, it's just, why? And any time, any time you jump in a canal, you are going to experience new and interesting infections. In various mm. places. Unless you have hermetically sealed your holes. The sequel to Osmosis Jones is not what everyone was expecting. I... So... It's flap o'clock. Oh, no. Oh, chat. Meth's a hell of a drug, so, uh... What did we learn this week? Of course it's meth. Come on, what else would it be? It's always fucking meth. I s- hey man, edibles aren't going to make you do that shit. Come do on. Not understand this. This is not a fun drug. No, like, I, I like, you know, if you're gonna do like an edible or something, you're, like you're in the comfort of your own home or your right. friends, you know, Chill. the worst you're gonna do is like clean out your like pantry or you know, <laughs> cuddle with a friend you might find a little awkward, but like, you're not gonna get arrested for that. Like, ugh. So what we it's learn? always mad. First thing we've learned is something we've taught you at any time, at any point in your life, there may indeed be a naked person. So just prepare yourself any day. Welcome to Florida. It's, Here's your pamphlet. Prepare for nudity. It's like the threat of the existential threat of a nuclear war. Y'all, you know it's out there waiting at any point. It could happen. <laughs> it's like the Shia LaBeouf song. Stalking could you like Shia the Puff? No, no, naked man. Um, we've learned that if you're going to ship your drugs, don't just ship it to some random ass place and pick them up later. It's like you are the worst drug trafficker, fucking ever. At the very least, man, like use a different name. At least then you could be like, oh well, that's not my name. I just. Misread it. Learn. You can scream at your own kids. It's legal. Um, you if you start screaming at other people's kids, that's not. That's you're, you're not allowed to. You, it it's not like a citizen's arrest. You can't be like a citizen's parenting. But it's not allowed. Look. Oh, I know. hello. I know. finally made it. Autumn. Thanks. Right at the end. Glorious. And, um, but. but hey. But, yeah, sorry. But, hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you, if you're somebody and a, a middle schooler has made fun of you for something, be it flipping off your wife or pointing out your weaknesses, whatever, you know, the things they do, just contact their parents. That's all you need to do, or their school, or where, or their job, or wherever you are. Like, you didn't even need to ask. Let that be somebody else's responsibility. You didn't need to ask, ask for you. You didn't need to pull the van, the tr- the thing over. You need to ask for their their light. You just look at the number on the bus, and then call the district, and they're like, "Oh, they're on that bus. Okay." And just like try to give like a description of like the shirt they're wearing or whatever, like right. something, so you can at least like point them out or whatever, like. This, this is basic, like, it, come on, man. Like, how do you can tell someone has never interacted with a child? <laughs> we have learned that uh, yanking it in public is not a good way to fix your butt. You know? You might, might want to consult <laughs> a proctologist and not, you know, that is like the weirdest home remedy they've ever heard. Look. It's not, like, an orgasm's not a free, like, oh, yep, we're good. Everything's fine. Like, you want to impress your girlfriend? That's great. Don't do it in public. Yeah, don't don't share. You just ask. And then finally, we've, and speaking of not doing it in public, um, if people did not come to see you, Maybe keep your performance down while the main performance is going on. Upsetting me. No, ain't like, nobody, ain't nobody paying three hundred dollars to listen to your ass. Sorry. 
Sorry, man. That's a different service. You have to go on over on Fansly for that shit. We're we're doing like fucking the classics here. He's really trying to get her to hit the high notes, I guess. <laughs>